salutations. My name's Ollie, and here's your loaf of daily bread. Today's loaf of bread comes to us by way of the author, Stephen Pressfield, who says the following. The paradox seems to be that the truly free individual is free only to the extent of his own self-mastery, while those who will not govern themselves are condemned to find masters to govern over them. This is a paradox that I've explored in these videos many times before. I've expressed it in different ways, and one of the ways in which I express it is to say that the mind is either a faithful servant or a cruel master. In order to be free, we have to turn the mind into that servant. Otherwise, it's going to rule over us. So if you don't govern your mind, it will govern you on your behalf. And that's part of the paradox. And sometimes it's not just the mind that controls us. It's other people, it's ideas and belief systems and things that come from without. It doesn't really matter whether it's the mind or the government or whatever. If you don't control yourself, someone else will. And that's what Stephen Pressfield is saying here. Another parallel that I thought of when I read this quote was the Seneca line, where he says, in order to be free, you have to be a slave to philosophy. So the idea is that in order to be free, you have to discipline yourself. In order to be free, you have to give up your freedom for something bigger than yourself. And that's the paradox. The question of freedom is quite simple to answer because well, if you can't control yourself when certain things happen, if you can't change your opinion when presented with factual information, then I would argue that you're not free at all, no matter how much political or economical freedom you actually have. So it's important that we take note of this. All these other freedoms that we're so concerned about, freedom of speech, the right to choose, and all these different things are useless if we're not free to choose our own reactions, free to choose our own beliefs, if we're just following the traditions of our forefathers blindly. How can we possibly think we're free if we're not free to choose what we think, what we do, and ultimately how we feel? That's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me for this video and don't forget to live well.